This is a Rosemary Sacramento production from the Wide Up TV family. Enjoy. <laughs> How's it going, my people? This is your boy, Wired Up, and welcome to Wired Up TV. Hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and keeping your eyes on the road. I want to talk about something real quick, guys, and it's about hate and envy. In this life, you're always going to have people that hate on you and talk behind your back. No matter what you do in life, good or bad, people will find something to always criticize you about. So... Instead of getting mad about it and start acting dumb, use this fire you got inside you burning to fuel, to fuel you, and to prove to everyone that they're wrong. Don't never let it get to you because if you do, you will inevitably become just like them. Be positive and erase all the negative thoughts. You have only let your positive thoughts prevail. Okay, only think positive thoughts. By doing this, you will always be successful and happy. Remember this. He who gets mad loses the battle. Now let's get down with the video. It is incredible how over the years, numerous celebrities and Shakur family members alike have leaked out that Tupac, aka Mr. Machiavelli, the Don, is still alive. The list includes New Jack, NECW pro wrestler, Tretch from Naughty by Nature, Tupac's close friend, and also Willow Smith, who is Jada Pinkett or Jada Smith's daughter. And uh, Willow wrote a note to Tupac saying that she knows he's still alive and that he can please come back to make her mama happy. All right, Obi Trice who was also Tupac's homeboy. In a live performance said to the crowd, Tupac lives. We just can't tell you where because the feds are watching. One thing the non-believers in the Tupac Alive community have always agreed on is that Tupac's music lives on forever. People say, Pac's music lives forever. He lives through his music. One thing they don't realize is how alive Tupac's music really is. In 2009, a rapper by the name of Casanova the Don emerged and is believed to be Tupac's frontman. Frontman, you ask? Yep. He is simply a name and face for the true artist, which is Mr. Machiavelli himself, Tupac. And in true Tupac form, he can help himself he can't help he can't help himself and puts himself on all the covers. <laughs> I mean you see it with the face and all that stuff. I mean, it's crazy. He even he even puts it on his last album release while he was still chilling in LA and in front of all the world's eyes. The album Machiavelli. Okay. And Machiavelli spells I'm alive K. The K being Casanova. So he's telling you and me, I'm alive through Casanova the Dawn. Okay. Also, one clue that a lot of people have missed and only the most deepest of listeners have caught is that Tupac's voice has changed from album to album. If you peep game and listen closely, his voice has gotten deeper and more raspy over the years. And also a big giveaway is that if this man Casanova was just a big copycat faker lame that was just trying to make some money off Tupac, why would Hussein Fado appear on two of his songs? Also Hussein Fado has said on his own tracks that Tupac is alive. All right, and has given hints he has given hints on interviews that Tupac's alive. And also, it is no secret that he has told some of the family members and some of the outlaw members that he believed Tupac broke out and is making it hard 
on the federal government. Now, Machiavelli spells I'm alive K. I'm alive Casanova. He is using Casanova the Don to reach the world and still continue to game them and talk to all his people. He even put his own name to, to his front man's name. That's why the rapper's name is Casanova the Don. The Don being Tupac. So he's basically telling you this. He's, he, you know, he's, he's basically telling you this. It's, it's Casanova and I, Machiavelli the Don, is speaking through him. Tupac Shakur is a mastermind and a very self-educated black man. And that is why he's still alive today, speaking to the masses, and the federal American government cannot do a single thing about it. Tupac has even gone so far as to tell the world through Casanova what happened on that fateful day in Las Vegas, September 7th, 1996. Detail to detail, he explains how he escaped that hot September night. The non-believers have always said, well, Tupac had a big mouth. You can never stay excited this long. And I agree with you 100%, my people. I agree. No fight here. Okay. Tupac does have a big mouth. He said it himself. And that's why he's still speaking to the world, dropping albums and doing whatever he wants. <laughs> Anything he needs to say, that he, is, that, that, he, that he didn't get out through his own albums, he gets out through Casanova. So yes, you're right. Tupac would never be able to stay silent. And he hasn't. There's even people that believe and had done their research that say that there's more than one front man for Tupac. Okay? This might also be true. Now, my research has led me to Casanova. He's the one that Tupac put on the Machiavelli album by saying, I'm alive, K. I'm alive through Casanova. Okay? And I believe through Casanova we will find the golden ticket and be able to locate Tupac. All right. People constantly ask me, wired up, when do you think Tupac is coming back? And I always tell them, it depends what you mean by coming back. Now, if you're asking me if I think he's going to come back to America and pop out and go, hey, I'm back, guys. What's up? Then I would, my answer would be no. I don't think that he would do that. He's too intelligent for that. My personal opinion, my personal opinion, speaking just for me, okay, is that when he does decide to show himself again, he's gonna stay put right in Cuba. Why Cuba? Well, one thing, his aunt's there, which is already established in Cuba. She's been there for years. She knows the ropes, the ins and outs. She knows how to stay under the radar. Two, because there's no extradition laws there with America, with the United States of America. So even if they knew Pac was there, where he was, they can't extradite him. They cannot arrest him. That's why he's, I believe he's in Cuba, 100%. And some of the people that I've spoken to that are very, very close friends to the family and they were very close to him believe he's in Cuba as well. You've heard uh, Trek say this. You've even heard Chick Knight say this, that he's kicking back, smoking a Cuban cigar. They're telling you guys, but y'all can't hear it. And you guys are, a lot of the people are saying, well, they're just playing around. But why would they tell people where Tupac is and they knew where he was, he's just gonna get caught? No, the government can't do jack squat to Tupac, he's in Cuba. 
people, there's no extradition laws. His aunt, Asada Shakur, broke out of prison, guys. All right, she was put in prison, I believe, for allegedly shooting some, uh, shooting a cop, I believe, right? Or robbing a bank, one of the two. All right, wait, no, no, no. She was convicted of first degree murder of a state trooper, okay? Of a state trooper, Mr. Warner Forrester in 1973, okay? So this is a person that allegedly murdered a state trooper, Warner Forrester in 1973 was imprisoned, then broke another crime, then committed another crime by escaping prison. They know she's in Cuba, okay? This person, the federal government knows she's in Cuba. She's done interviews on TV, guys, and she's still free, and she cannot get arrested. Nothing's happening to her. This is why Tupac is in Cuba, and this is why Shug and Tretch have openly said that he's there, all right? Because he can't be brought. Guys, this is what I think he would do to finish the question. When people ask me if Tupac can come back or whatever. He would show himself but remain in Cuba. Nowadays, you can make albums from anywhere. Okay? It's not like before when he left. All right? That is what I believe. Now, many people have different opinions. And different thoughts. Some people think he's in Africa and this and that. Okay? All right. Well, you know, I can understand why they think that. But if you do your research, all right, <laughs> and study his aunt, which is a Black Panther, is in Cuba. Tupac, who was also a Black Panther, the new African Black Panthers. Why would he go to Africa where he can be arrested if caught and extradited? Okay? With nobody nobody there. Okay? When he can go to Cuba where he cannot be arrested if he's caught and his aunt's there. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. The research we've done you know what I'm saying? Has that us there. Also, not to mention, Shook Nanny Tretchup said he's there. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys. Tupac has been speaking through Casanova the Don for years. He's, he gave us the, the dark details of what happened that hot summer night in September. Or that hot night in September. What do you guys think? Let us know. If you guys have any information, send it to wiredubtv for you at gmail.com. wiredubtv for you at gmail.com. You guys stay positive, keep your head up, and stay cool, and handle your business. And like I always tell you, my people, stay wired up. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.